Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Walking Dead Series 7 Michonne action figure. Now, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you probably know that Michonne's probably my favorite character from the show. I really, really, really like Michonne. So I was excited when I seen that they were making a new Michonne figure, even though this is probably my least favorite outfit she's worn. Well, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the police uniform is my least favorite, but... I still want to figure that just because it's just so different. But it is cool they made this one just because that was... Well, also, this one was a lot different than her other outfits because this long sleeve shirt. But still, I'm, I'm just so used to seeing her with, like, a tank top on, like, in her vest. Like, you usually see her arms showing and everything. She's got some very defined arms. And it just sucks that they're all covered up. <laughs> but, no, uh, there's the back. Like I said, I haven't got Herschel or the Rick yet. I don't really need the Rick because I already made one, but eh, I still probably get it. <laughs> well, let's open this thing up. Okay, she's all opened up. She's a little bit more posable now, which is really cool since she uses a katana and should get some crazy poses. She's got a lot more articulation in the legs now. I mean, look at that. She can do kicks. She can sit down. I don't know if she can sit down as well as Carl. Well, nah, yeah, she can sit down. She can do splits. I don't know why she'd do that, but she can. So, that's really cool. However, her arms are a little bit limited this time around. They're better than Carl's. Carl's can't even do 90 degree, and this, this one can do pretty close to 90. So, at least she can do that. But I think it's still a little more limited than this one. See, that one can go a little bit past 90 degrees. And the, uh, I think the shoulder is kind of hindered too by the shirt. So, that kind of sucks. I did see on, um, on the Walking Dead memorabilia Facebook page that, uh, someone, I forget his name, but he was someone from, uh, Asia. He got the figure early before people in the U.S. got him, and he took these arms off and put these arms on. And it looked pretty cool, because she actually did roll these sleeves up a few times while she was wearing this shirt. And he said it gave her a little more articulation. So, yeah, I'm really happy about the articulation. Another thing I'm happy about is the boots. Because one thing that really bugged me about the first Michonne was her boots weren't painted right. They're black with silver studs and silver eyelets. But that's not what you see here. This is brown, and they didn't even paint the studs or anything. My guess is, like, if... If some of the figures, especially like the last Carol, it seems like they go by a specific photograph when they're making the figure. And my guess is they probably got a picture of Michonne before she even appeared on the show. And that's what they worked from. And they probably looked like her shoes were this color. They couldn't really see them that well. And that's probably why they ended up the wrong color. But at least they got them right now. That's awesome. You got a crazy orange socks in there. They also got her an updated hairstyle, which is just slightly different. Because, see, there's her old hairstyle. And in the back, she's, like, got, got it tied. So it's not much different, but still a little different. And you can see her headband through the sides a little more now. So you can actually see it there. The face? I'm not... Mm, not so sure about the face. I think the face on the original is a little better. That would focus. Yeah, I think this looks more like Denai Guerrera. Guerrera? Guerrera? Well, Denai. Uh, it's always hard for me to say her last name. So does Gar Denai. I think it looks more like Denai on this one. This looks like somebody else. And also, I don't know if it's just my figure, or if they're all like this, but something about her head looks crooked to me. Like, lopsided. I don't know if you can see that. It's like almost like I took her head and went, eh. It's kind of twisted it a little. <laughs> Maybe it's just because there's more hair over, it, over here. I don't know if that's what it is. Something's just kind of funny. Now, one thing is different. I don't know if they changed the sculpt last minute or something, but the preview pictures, it really looked like she was sad looking. Like she had a sad expression, and I wasn't too happy about that. It doesn't really look sad to me now. But still kind of an odd face. Not horrible. Just not as good of a likeness as the Carl figure is. That Carl likeness is amazing. Oh, I want to show the joint in the back here because this is kind of odd. The pockets are actually, they stay in place when the 
when the leg moves. That's just kind of odd. You can see your church tie in the knot up there. And if you look really close, you can see that there's texture on our pants. Like, what is that, corduroy or I don't know what that shit is. I'm not a material expert, but you can see there's a lot of nice detail in there. If you zoom in close, get a closer look at these boots. Mm, kind of sloppily painted, but I don't blame them because I painted mine on this machine. Painted this one myself, and well, I guess I didn't do too bad of a job there, but that was hard, man. I couldn't imagine painting a whole bunch of these that way. So I can kind of expect these to be a little sloppy. But still, I'm just happy they're the right color this time. <laughs> Another thing different is her patch on her vest, because that's how she, she has a patch there now in the later episodes, and they got that on there. The sheath looks pretty much the same, except that they didn't paint as much white on. And that could just be mine, that could vary, I don't know. From what I can tell, uh, I was going to say it's the same sculpt, but looking at this little ring up here at the top, it looks like it's a different size. It looks like this one's bigger than this one, so I think this might actually be a new sculpt of the sheath. Which I don't know why they'd re-sculpt it, but it looks like it's a new one. The katana looks pretty much the same, except that the handle on the original is a little more white. And that's also fine too, because if you watch the later episodes, the handle on her katana is getting really, really dirty and grimy. Probably because of Rick Grimes putting his grime on it. I don't know if it's intentional or what, but it looks like the silver on this on this new one is kind of messed up. Like maybe the blade is messed up on the show too, and they're doing that. I can't remember. Her other accessories are this candle from Beauty and the Beast. However, they left off the mustache. I don't know where it is, and I don't even see the face. They forgot to paint on the face. Damn it! I could probably make the mustache and the face myself, but jeez. And she came with the most awesome accessory of all. Her easy cheese. What's that say? Cheese in a can. And that was, I was kind of hoping that if they made a new figure of her, that they would include some cheese, some easy cheese, and they did. <laughs> That's just awesome. However, the zine was a little awkward because she's trying to make Carl laugh and she's spraying her mouth, acting like a monster, and he just looks at her like, please. I was retarded. Go away. I'm too old for that kind of stuff, Michonne. I'm a big grown boy and I got issues and stuff. Jeez. I guess if you want her to hold a cheese, you gotta kinda put it in her hand like that. If you stuck it all the way in her hand, it'd probably stretch it out and make it hard for her to hold the sword. But there she is next to Carl while I got him out. Cause they become kinda buddies in the last couple seasons. And there she is next to Rick. These three seemed very close lately. Not really sure if they're going to get together. That was something that people keep talking about. I don't know if that's really going to happen. I think they just really respect each other. And there she is next to Andrea. Andrea, I put this shirt on because it reminds me of you. Nah. As you can see, they painted a zipper on the vest this time. Last time it wasn't painted. So that's a nice touch. What is hair doing there? Get off of there! Here's a close-up of her head so you can see her face and expression and her headband. See, see, I like how it goes back in there like it does in a show now. You know what I was thinking? <laughs> this is kind of off subject, but sort of on subject. Comic book Michonne. In the comics right now, I won't give too much away, but she's missing right now. Not exactly missing, I just haven't told you where she is. She's been gone for a while. And I keep thinking if she comes back, I hope she has a mohawk. That'd be freaking awesome. Or a frohawk. Or a dreadhawk. Yes, a dreadhawk. <laughs> that would be freaking amazing. I hope she has a, some sort of a mohawk when she comes back. I forgot to point this out. Michonne's head articulation is not very good on this one. Her hair is a lot stiffer than it was on the previous figure. And it really makes it hard to move her head around. Well, I guess I'll do a couple comparisons to the older Michonne figure. So, there you go. <laughs> Looks like older Michonne's actually a little taller. So not only does your hat shrink when you get older, like Carl's hat, but she also gets shorter. Well, I guess that is true. <laughs> but 
I don't think Michonne's age she should be getting shorter. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. It's just something noticeably different. Although it does look like her neck's kind of short or something. I don't know. So uh, she just... It is a cool figure. I'm glad they made this one. But I still would like a Michonne with a horse. Even though her horse is dead. <laughs> I assume it's dead. But that would have been a cool box set. Okay, I think this is Series 3 Michonne. And this would be the flashback Michonne, which isn't too much different except the paint's a little better. And I'll compare it to a few more Michonnes. Are y'all ready? Let's go. There she is next to my custom clear episode Michonne from season three. And here's bloody black and white Michonne. And here's custom that I never finished Michonne. <laughs> Basically, I was just painting the colors correctly on the pants and the boots and the shirt. But I never finished it. It's pretty much done, but whatever. So you lay down there, half Michonne. And there she is next to Comic Michonne. Oh no! Bloody black and white Comic Michonne! Funko Pop Michonne! Mystery Mini Michonne! And there's Comic Book Bank Michonne! And there she is next to Mini Mate Michonne! Wearing a cloak! Mystery Mini Mate Michonne! First appearance Michonne! Building set Michonne! And there she is sitting on a Michonne replica sword! And there she is next to Life Size Michonne! That will be in a later video. So yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with Michonne. So I really do like this Michonne. I think it's pretty cool, other than a few problems. I really like the added articulation. And uh, this outfit was memorable, although odd. But I still do like it. I'd say if you see it and you're a fan of Michonne, then pick it up because it is pretty cool. Well, this is Mr. David Cheese, and this is my review of the Michonne figure from Series 7 of The Walking Dead Action Figures by McFarland Toys. And I don't know why I'm talking like this, but yeah. Check out my Gareth in Mudwalker video and the Carl if you haven't watched it. And whenever I get that Herschel and Rick, damn exclusives. Marr. Okay, well, see you later. Goodbye. Thanks. But, um, yeah. Michonne, are you finally going to talk to Dad and tell him you got feelings for him? I don't know. I don't think I can do it. Come on. I know he likes you, too. Come on. Just do it. Okay. I'll go tell him. <laughs> Shit. Rick. What the hell are you doing with Jesse? Ooh. Uh, we were just uh, talk talking about some, uh, uh, some, some, some stuff and, and some things. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Ooh.